Hello Rocketeers! It's been a little while since Mission to Argus ended. I've looked through all your comments and feedback and now it's time for some patch notes. I'd like to start off by thanking everyone who provided feedback on the cards, either here on YouTube or on Discord. In particular, I'd like to thank Sacred over on the custom Hearthstone Discord server for providing feedback on almost every new update to the expansion. Many of the changes you'll see today are thanks to their input. Let's start by taking a look at all the cards that have been buffed. For Death Knight, the card Reckless Researcher is receiving an update. Instead of summoning a 1-1 on Death with Reborn, Reckless Researcher will now summon a 2-1 on Death with Reborn. The token for Reckless Researcher will also get updated to reflect this change. The mage spell Orbital Space Laser is getting a power boost. Orbital Space Laser's text is being changed to deal 20 damage to a minion and 5 damage to any character surrounding it. What this means is that in addition to hitting your own closest minions, you may now also use Orbital Space Laser to deal 5 damage to the enemy hero, but only if you target the centermost enemy minion. If the enemy has an even number of minions, targeting either of the two centermost minions will work. In Mission to Argus, Shaman received a new Switcheroo Shaman archetype, but it was deemed a bit too slow, so a couple cards from this package are receiving an update. The first is a small buff to the Shaman legendary, the Eye of Antorus. Instead of 4 health, the Eye of Antorus will now have 5 health. The other update to the Switcheroo Shaman package will be revealed later on in the video. The Warlock spell Shifting Cosmos is getting an overhaul. Shifting Cosmos has both a Fell variant and a Shadow variant, Fell being the collectible version, but the effects of the two sides will now swap. In addition to that, the Fell variant will now summon 4-3 demons with Rush instead of 3-3 demons. All the tokens are also updating alongside this change. A card from the Attack on Area 52 pre-launch event is also improving. It's Errand Boy. In addition to putting 3 random mechs on top of your deck, Errand Boy will now also reduce their cost by 2. The next card getting buffed is Orbital Bartender. Orbital Bartender will no longer just increase your maximum number of secret slots, but will now increase all slots in the hero zone by 1, up to a maximum of 7. I struggled a bit to describe this update, so I used a phrase never seen before in Hearthstone, Hero Zone. The Hero Zone is for any card or effect that exists around the hero portrait, such as secrets, quests, aura, sigils and more. You can usually only have a maximum of 5 of any of these effects at any given time, but with the update to Orbital Bartender, you can now have up to 7! The final card to receive a buff is Lightforged Elite. This minion will now have tradable, and if you successfully manage to destroy a demon, Lightforged Elite will now also gain Divine Shield. Now let's take a look at all the cards that are getting nerfed. First we have the Death Knight legendary minion, the Avatar of Entropy. This card just did a lot for 4 mana, so it's having its cost increase to 5, and the stats have been adjusted for this new mana cost. The next card that's changing is the Hunter Legendary, Chieftain Hatun, specifically his tokens, Creature Tracks. Creature Tracks costing 0 mana was deemed too powerful alongside Quest Hunter and even Hunter in Wild, so the spells will now cost 1 mana, but will also reduce the cost of the minions they give you by 1. The Rogue Legendary minion, Talgoth the Traitor is getting nerfed hard. Talgath casting 5, sometimes 7 secrets for 6 mana was just too powerful, so instead of being a 6 mana 5 6, Talgath will now be an 8 mana 6 6 minion. Another card getting nerfed is Ethereal Neutralist. Being able to just run the Legion or Light legendary locations and then tutoring for them with this card was too powerful, so Ethereal Neutralist will now only be able to draw Legion or Light minions. This means it could still draw a card like Acid Builder, which is the final card getting nerfed. With cards like Orbital Space Laser that we saw early in this video, Acid Builder was able to get to unreasonable amounts of stats, so instead of gaining attack and health equal to the excess damage, Acid Builder will now only gain plus one plus one every time you deal excess damage. 
to compensate as if Belcher's health has been increased to 3. It was also mentioned that it was a bit confusing who got the attack and health before, but now there should be no confusion who gets the stats. In addition to the buffs and nerfs, there are also other cards being changed, but those are mostly text changes. With the addition of the elusive keyword to Hearthstone, two cards in Mission to Argus will now also feature the keyword. The first is Mystic Constellation for Priest. And the second is Talbot Grazer for Neutral. The very last card that's changing is Shifting Seasons for Shaman. Shifting Seasons is a shifting spell with both a Frost and Nature variant and was intended for the Switcheroo Shaman package, but the Frost side is the collectible version and thus the first version you have access to, while the Nature side is actually what you want to play. So the two sides are getting swapped. The Nature side of Shifting Seasons will now be the collectible version of the spell. That's it for all the balance changes, but there were a couple things I forgot to mention or show during Mission to Argus that I will quickly share. Shaman also got the new keyword Shaman package in Mission to Argus, and with it they got the new minion Alakir Starlord. Because of this, the plan is that the old version of Alakir would rotate out of standard and be replaced by Cookie the Cook. In addition to all the cards for the expansion, I actually also made the card pack for the expansion. Those with a keen eye might have spotted it before, but here it is in all its glory. I also made a card back! Again, you may have noticed this before, but never from this angle. How you get this card back, I'm not really sure, probably from pre-purchasing the expansion or something. On a different note, I've been hard at work on a cinematic trailer for the mini set. I've already finished the audio, but I haven't started animating yet, and there's a lot of work to be done. Because of this, I won't be able to keep up with a bi-weekly upload schedule, and I will therefore go back to weekly uploads. Anyway, you're probably interested in what I've been working on, so here's a little snippet of the audio. Eredath was once the pinnacle of Eredath civilization. Before Sargeras took our world, Pledge the hearts of your people to my cause. Many joined the Legion willingly, giving in to Sargeras' false promises of power and glory. They betrayed everything we stood for. Before I end this video, I want to quickly share my thoughts on Mission to Argus as a whole. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I kinda lost my passion for the project along the way, and as a result, I think the video started to drop in quality, at least until I took a break and came back with renewed inspiration for the last two episodes. In hindsight, it was probably a bit of a mistake to make 15 or however many videos for the project, and when I release my next expansion, I plan on taking a different approach with fewer videos. Anyway, that had just been sitting on my mind. Thanks for watching, let me know in the comments what you thought of these changes and subscribe to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. I'll see you in the next video.